Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a different kind of reading vlog. I've been very be behind this week and just not feeling well so I didn't really record anything for this week's reading vlog and I'm also doing a kind of special reading vlog so it's just taking a little more time and so I've been reading for that but it's not completed yet so I wanted to just take you on like a day reading vlog and I'm very excited for this one actually because I didn't think I was going to get to this soon but I've decided to read in this and that is The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. This came out on the 15th and it's currently the 18th and I pre-ordered it because I think I really feel like Simone St. James is going to be a new favorite author of mine just based on all of the synopsises that I've read of her books they all just intrigue me so much. So this one is following our main character Shea right now and I think it's a dual timeline but she basically is going to this mansion because she writes for like a crime blog um, and she starts to interview this woman who was acquitted of murdering two men back in the 50s or something like that. Um, I can't remember the exact date and she is interviewing her and some strange things start to happen at the house that she, they're interviewing at. It's the mansion that the woman lives in and she has to like figure out if it's the house itself is being creepy or if it's a woman who got away with murder and it seems like I've only read I've only read about 18 pages this morning um, just a little bit after breakfast but I really needed to get to work so I didn't read all that much but it seems like the main character Shea is kind of has a dark past so I think that might weave itself into the narrative but so far I'm really liking the writing style. I think it's written in a way that I really enjoy. So in this reading vlog I'm going to be reading this. So right now I'm going to get a blog post written and finished because I have been putting that off and then I'm going to do some other little like work things but I will be reading for most of the day and on my like breaks and stuff and I will hopefully finish this today. You might see part of tomorrow just me wrapping things up stuff like that but I hope you enjoy this little like day in my life reading vlog and yeah.
so I am at now 100 pages into um, the Book of Cold Cases, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a dual timeline, so we've been getting flashbacks from Beth, who is the uh, woman who was acquitted of murdering two men back in the 70s, so we're getting, like, what happened back then in flashes from her perspective, but then we're also in the present getting the perspective of Shay, who is the journalist who's, like, interviewing her, and, like, her kind of, um, like, investigation into everything and her interviews with Beth, but then we're also getting some perspectives from Beth. Um, in the present and I'm really enjoying it. I really like how these characters are written and just the way Simone St. James writes characters. I find them very intriguing right away and I would want to know more. Yeah there's just an overall like eerie vibe to it. Even the like setting itself just for some reason just feels eerie. Like it's not just one specific place but like the whole town has this eerie feel to me and I really like that and both of the characters have their own issues and are flawed or like they're going through things and you just don't really know what it is and I think that's a very interesting dynamic and I like that also their interactions aren't in a formal interview setting but they are like a sit down interview kind of a feeling like they're sitting down and they're talking and that's where a lot of their interactions are coming from and I like that addition to it. Um, it's not the most fast paced thriller or anything but I really like it and the overall just sense I get from the book it's just so eerie and I'm really enjoying it so there's 300 and like 41 pages I think yeah so I'm going to keep reading and hopefully get through most of it tonight and then finish it up in the morning and wrap this up and I will check back in later when I have more to say <laughs> Welcome back. 
I am just starting the morning. As you saw, I kind of showed a little like morning routine. So I made my drink, which is, if you've ever been to Starbucks, when I used to work there, there was a mango black tea lemonade, but they got rid of it like around the time I think I left. So it's been a couple years, but I was obsessed with it. And I got this mango syrup from Tarani and I ordered that and it's a natural like syrup. So I use that and then I steep um, some black tea and then I can save usually some of it for the next day and then I do lemonade and then I you saw I probably I put a scoop of something in it and that's my supplement that I take to help me with my chronic illness but it doesn't like taste like anything it's just a supplement I need to take um but yeah so then I have this like every morning and it really tastes just like it so if you loved that and can't find an alternative and you want to make it at home I do five pumps I don't do six pumps because they we used to do six pumps of mango and it's just too sweet for me so I do five in a venti size and I do black tea I do like a scoop of black tea steep it in a regular sized mug for four minutes then I dump it over some ice into a pitcher and then I save whatever's left in a mason jar for the next day and then I fill it up to here and then I fill the rest up with lemonade. I don't do ice because I don't like ice, but you could do ice if you wanted. And it tastes just like the mango black tea lemonade. So yeah, I drink this like every morning. I love my routines and this is like one of the things I have to have every morning. So while I'm drinking that, I'm also going to be finishing The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I'm at page like 215, I think. Yeah, like 215 and there's 341 so I think it'll only take me like maybe an hour and a half to two hours to finish this and then I'm going to finish the video and edit upload it and it, you'll be watching it um so then what do, what do I want to say about the book really liking it there's like a part two that hits about like halfway through the book and ever since that part it's been like even better like I've enjoyed the whole book so far but I feel like part two is really like diving into like the mystery a lot more um and I'm just really enjoying it I really like the way Simone St. James writes like it's so there's a dog barking so sorry if you can hear that um Simone St. James just like writes so well like I feel like I already know the characters and like I said before, there's just this eerie feeling that she writes so well and it's not exactly anything she says, but it's just the way she's writing. And I'm just so excited to see like what happens. And I really love the two perspectives, the two narrators of Beth, who is the one who was acquitted of murder and the journalist, the crime journalist, Shay. I think they both are very like distinct and I just like getting both of their perspectives. So I'm like, really like don't want to put this down so if you're looking for a book that i think to get you out of a reading slump or something you just want to like fly through because you're feeling not motivated but you want to read something i think this could be for you because this is just like it's not it's not over the top like yes there's murder and it's about like a woman serial killer uh it's not like gruesome really so like if you don't like super like detailed about the crime you're not really getting that, at least right now. So I think that this could be a really good one. I'm going to read, I was reading here, but I think I'm actually gonna go into the office and read because I haven't read in my chair very much and I love that chair. And yeah, I'm just thinking that feels like the place, you know? So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take my book, take my drink and go in there and read.
So I just finished the Book of Cold Cases. Uh, I think, I think it's a five star. I wouldn't say like this is like the plot is anything like super twisty, outrageous, like you would have never seen coming, but I think the way she writes it just, it was so good. And I loved all like getting in the head of Beth and Shay, but especially Beth. It was just so interesting and well done and I'm like the second half of the book was just a ride you just learn so much and I yeah I really really enjoyed it I think that this is like one of those perfect books for me where like for someone else maybe it would be more of a three or four star just because it's not so action-packed or it's not so twisty but I feel like the things that she does with this story she does it so well there's some like elements of supernatural elements to it too that are woven through the whole story and I really like that and yeah it was just it was so good I definitely I've been in kind of a reading slump where I've been reading only like maybe 50 pages a day and I sat down and read this in a whole day without even like forcing myself to read like that's how sucked up in I was so if you're looking for like a book to get you out of a reading slump, like I would highly recommend this. I just think, again, her writing was so good. Like if you're thinking about picking this up, like I, I think it's worth it personally. I think it was, it's probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year, even though, like I said, I don't think it's going to be everyone's like top tier book, but I think it's a book that's so worth it and so good and written so well. And I love the dual timeline and the dual perspective that just added so much to the story. So, oh yeah, I'm so excited I read this. I'm so happy I'm going to get to editing this vlog, so you should see it up shortly. But thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And if you have read this, let me know your thoughts or let me know in the comments if you're planning on reading it. I'd really like to know if you think you're going to read it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.